as these teams learn and grow throughout the year. We are underway. It's the second slate of midweek games for both teams. Getting against Ole Miss team leader in average last season. He'll go down swinging for the first down of this ball game. Matthew Dallas getting settled in. Able to come back and get back in it. 3-2 pitch. Dallas just misses with another fastball. First base runner of the afternoon is Cale Chatham. There's the one, two, another strikeout for Dallas. A pair of K's, one down, no one on. That pitch is low from Olsofsky. Down is three, two. Pitch home, Amick lines one in to right, nearly caught Blake Burke, but it's in for a base hit. Burke on his horse to third, runners on the corners now here in the first. Game get to him. And three, two is outside ball. Four bases are loaded here in the first. Big spot for Villeneuve. He deposits it in left. It's going to score one run at least. Here comes Amick around from third. Two RBI single. Robin Villeneuve is on fire. And that's what the coaching staff wants to see from Villeneuve. Getting things going early in the game rather than waiting, waiting, trying to get things started. You want to jump on him right from the get-go. 3-2 pitch to Dryling. Pops one high in the infield. Every pop fly is going to move. Let's see how Stewart handles it. He has it. Maybe looking to hit something closer to the ground or a line drive. That time the curve from Olsofsky put Peebles down to a knee, and that ends the inning. All across the board, not just infield, but also outfield as well. Derschlag into left on a dive. Does he have it? Dryling's there. Talk about defense. A web gym here in the third. When you do throw them good pitches, they'll Hit it out. Two walks in this ball game for Cale Chatham. And now he's going to get hit. First pitch he sees from Dallas. And that's ball four. Klingler didn't even have to swing. The last midweek game for Tennessee against CTSU, but stands in here with the bases loaded. Throw down from Peebles. That gets him out of the jam. What a dart from behind the dish. You couldn't ask for a more perfect throw there from Peebles and Blake Burke puts the tag down. And Tears rip right field way. Does it have enough? It does. Tears muscles it over the right field wall through the wind. Number four of the year. Kavaris Tears, he started the rally last time on two outs with that walk and now he puts another run up on the board for the Volunteers with that absolute shot of a home run. Now batting the number 17, Robin Villadez. Forcing Tony Vitello's hand to Austin Hunley and that's a rip into right field. First base hit for High Point here in the fourth to lead off the frame. Figure out a way to get yourself back from a red light situation to a green light situation. That ball's off Blake Burke's glove. Everyone's going to be safe. Hard swing from Sam Schneer. And all Burke could do was just get a glove on it. Off speed. Hit well from Harmon. Left field side on the run. It's going to drop in front of Dryling. Third hit to start this inning. Hard round from third. Here comes Stewart to the plate. He's in. The Panthers on the board. Ruiz pulls it back now, shoots it over to second, picked up from Moore. The only play is at first, a really hard hit ball. And Moore was playing up in the infield. This where the potential to score is high. High jumper up the middle, Perry has it, but it does score another run. Aholt will get the RBI as Sam Schneer touches home. It's now 3-2. That one, two, got him. Strike three as Stamos leaves the tying run stranded at third. That's from their pitching staff. Make that eight now. Here's a 2-2, two -two, the pickoff. Has the pitch runner come, be now in a pickle. Throw over, and Perry applies the tag. Connell electric. Pitch in, got him. Huge get from Connell, the pickoff and the K. 0-2, got him. What an inning for Kirby. You can't ask for anything better from a pitcher. It's been tough to come by. 
Kavar's tears, though, has been brilliant. Another hard hit ball. It's off the wall. Tears, hard round. He's heading for two. He's in. Kavar's tears. A loud leadoff double. Villanev. That's down the line. It's a fair ball. Should be extra bases, and it's going to score. Kavaris Tears, Tennessee, back up a pair of runs. Filanev does it again. He's 0 for 1. First pitch swinging into right field. That's down for a base hit. Here comes Villanev. The throw from right, not close. RBI for Cannon Peebles. Tennessee gets a second in the inning. Looks like the momentum is starting to shift towards the Tennessee side. This hit, beautiful in between first and second. And that throw just a little too far off from the plate allows Villeneuve to score easy. Now Peebles is on the move. That pitch is ball one, throw down, and Peebles is out. Grins from behind the dish, just checked into the game. Pitch home, and Hensley will go down swinging. He's 0 for 3, and that ends the frame. That is a crazy stat. That is a low number of walks. That ball is crushed by Braden Simpson. It's back towards the gap, and it's going to drop in. Home run type distance that would have been gone maybe any other day, but it'll be a stand-up double. 0-2, chopper. Moore called back to action. Got him. Good play. Roped over to third and into left field. RBI for Adam Stewart. It's all the way to the wall. He's got second as well. Big time two out hit. Huge hit here. I mean, that is a shot right through third base. And I think it, it kind of gets stuck there under the wall. It doesn't bounce off. Sneed set. Fires. Got him swinging. That ends the inning. Electric outing for Sam Sneed out of the pen. Gets the job done in the last few innings. Big swing from Amick. Into the night. Deep left field. It's out of here. No doubter. Billy Amick with his fourth home run of the season just when the Volunteers needed it most. Billy Barrels at it again. Big time swing to lead off the eighth. I was worried that this ball was gonna be like so many others and continue foul, but it stayed in just enough. I love that, that Tears and Amick are just continuing to battle with each other. And he has been so hot tonight, Tears, with a single. That's strike three. Dryling goes down looking. Good pitch from Glover. That's the fastball. Peebles ropes one, deep right field, heading towards the bullpen. It hops in and bounces off the wall. Hard round from third and heading home. And scoring is Kavaris Tears all the way from first. Big time rip from Cannon Peebles, his second RBI today. It was an absolute shot from Peebles, ripping it to the right side. I thought it might be over like Tears' home run earlier. Hits just right in front of the wall, but that's okay because Tier is able to come in and turn on the wheels there at the last second to slide in. Great base running from Kavaris Tears. Comes and he comes in and he works hard. Bargo crushes this one. Same spot right field, and what a play. Derschlag has it on the run with a sliding effort too. Both pitchers did a really good job getting ahead in counts. That's a rip from Chatham looking for the gap. It does drop in. That's going to be a leadoff double. Cale Chatham continues to have a really good evening. He's now two for three. And that is ripped. Center field. It's going to send Tears all the way back. He's got it for out number one. Chatham on the move. Tears a dart to third. Oh, Chatham just beat it out. What a throw from Tears. That one about made my headset fly off. 
That 2-2 doesn't matter. Strike three, swinging. 100 from Sneed. In play, it drops in for a base hit. The Panthers add another run. Still life for High Point. This pitch just inside outed to the right side of the field. Sneed on the 3-2. Got him swinging. What a performance from Nate Sneed. That's his fifth K, and that's a win for the Volunteers.